Whether or not a boy egg will be laid or a girl egg is determined not by the queen so much as first by the honeycombs the way they've been built by the workers. Drones need a bigger cell to grow in, so they're often built along the bottom of the frame and they're bigger whereas the worker cells are smaller. As the queen walks across the honeycombs, she'll come to a honeycomb that she wants to lay in. She will first measure the cell with her front feet. And when she touches the edges, she knows whether it's a smaller worker cell or a bigger drone cell. Then she'll lower her rear end into the cell. For a female, she will actually fertilize the egg from her spermatheca. The egg will pass through her oviduct and into bottom of the cell. For a male egg, they are not fertilized. The egg will simply be laid, pass through her oviduct, and land in the bottom of the cell. See this photo? The worker cappings are smaller, and across the bottom of the frame are their larger drone cappings. Bigger crib for a bigger bee. And you can see a comparison there between a drone and the workers. There's an egg on the left and a larva floating in a pool of royal jelly. The egg, you cannot tell from looking at an egg initially whether it's male or female unless you look at the size of the cell. And finally, we have a worker hatching out of a cell.